Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will cover splash screen, animations and the GUI customization. And let's go ahead and open our script file. Alright, inside our script file it's very easy. And for those that don't know what a splash screen is, it's something that starts right before your game starts, like you put logos in there or maybe a warning, anything. And it's very easy. All you have to do is type in label splash screen and everything that you write down in this label will be shown before the game starts and I have two pictures in my folder uh, let me check the name it's from my game 288 I'm gonna make a pause here so that the player has to click before he can proceed and another picture 88b I'm gonna make another pause here so what it does now is, it shows this picture, pauses it so the player has to click, shows the next screen, pauses it so he has to click and then he will launch into the menu. Let's take a look how it looks. Sorry I forgot to mention earlier that you have to put in a return at the end of the splash screen so it will go into the game instead of playing other labels. This is important. Okay, here it is. So now we see the picture before the menu. Now when we click, here is the next picture, and when we click again, we're in the menu. Okay, that's what we wanted. Okay, something really important I forgot to mention in the last tutorial is transitions. And it's very easy to put in a transition. Rampire comes with Dissolve. You can make your own transitions, but I'm not sure exactly how they work. I'm pretty new to it myself. But usually all you need is Dissolve. Maybe in some cases you're gonna need a V punch. I'm gonna show you in a second how they look. And I put in another image. So you can see the transition a little bit better scene. That's three, nine with dissolve. So you can see the dissolve a little bit better. The pause. This is how it looks. So here is the first picture. You didn't quite see the dissolve effect, but now on the next picture. That little shaking is the V-punch, sometimes you're gonna need that. And now you're gonna see the dissolve. Yeah, so instead of showing the picture immediately, it kind of blurs in between those two pictures. Gonna show the next picture. And when we click again, we're gonna be back in the menu, okay. Now, for animation, there are usually two ways to do them. One is you simply put in your pictures in the game. One, two and so on and you play them back like first image comes in then you make a pause of 0.1 seconds then the second picture comes in another pause of 0.1 third picture and so on and this works really great if you have like a short animation maybe like 20 pictures but if you have a long animation like 120 pictures then Rampai really struggles if you use this way and it's usually better to instead of playing each frame by its own you're gonna it's better to put them into a video and what I use is the webm file format because it's it's very small in file size and the quality is is okay and something I really recommend if you're going to make a webm file is webm for Premiere plugin so if you have Adobe Premiere, all you have to do is download this plugin. And over here you can click download Win or Mac and it's very easy to put in the image series into your Adobe Premiere and then it's gonna render it out into a web file. Very easy. Now when we want to create a new animation, all you have to do is type image, your animation name, like animation one, colon, enter, and then you're gonna put in all the images you want. Usually I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna make here a section called animation at the bottom of my script. But something you can also do is you can create a totally new file inside your game folder. All you have to do is simply create a new text file, call it animation, for example. And it's important that the ending is RPY and if it looks like this, then Rampy will read from that file as well. So you don't have to put everything into the same script file so you can structure it like you want it. 
But for this tutorial, I, I'm gonna put everything here in the script file. So to load an image inside DreamPy, all you have to do is type in double quotes and the path where the image is located. I'm gonna use my images I already have inside with the ending .jpg. And in the next line, we're gonna type in um, our pause. I'm gonna type in here, since we don't have a lot of pictures, I'm gonna type in here pause, uh, five pause, 0 0.5. And the next image, I'm gonna copy that here, not .jpg. And the last image is this one. Whoopsie. Double quotes, picture. And this is a WebP file. It's a new format I found and it's really cool. It's small in file size, quality is really good. So I'm gonna use this from now on. It's really, I can really recommend it. And now in the label, all we have to do to play back the animation is what we already know. We can either use scene or we can use a show. It doesn't really matter here. I'm gonna use a show animation one because we called it animation one. And then it's gonna play back this image pause this image, pause this image, and then it will jump to return. So we're gonna put in here a pause so it will stay there for a second and let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna start our game. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it was very fast, let's take a look again. Tick, 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 last image, okay. So what if you want to loop the animation? Really simple. All you have to do is put a repeat at the end. I'm gonna put here a pause as well of 0.5 seconds so we can see the last frame as well. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we're gonna click on start. First frame, second, third frame, and it's gonna loop till we click again, which ends the game. So yeah, that's basically it for short animations. You can also put in transitions. All you have to do is type in with dissolve Keep in mind that this is an uppercase letter and then put in the duration. How long the transition should last and I'm gonna put it in here so you can see it. Save. Now let's start our game. Now you can see there are very short transitions between each frame. Now if you have a long animation like a weapon file, all you have to put in is this dollar rampy dot movie underscore cutscene. If you use this command, it will play back the movie once. And then you're gonna put in the location of your file. I have here car intro dot weapon. Let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna click start. Here is this animation I did. As you can see, it's a very long animation. But Rampa has no problem playing it instantly. So if you want to loop an animation, all you have to do is create a new image. Animation 2 is, and now it's important, uppercase movie play is and the file path. And in our label, we have to put in what we already know show or scene, doesn't really matter. Animation 2. And I'm gonna put in here a pause. And now, if we play the animation like this, it's gonna loop on its own infinity times. Okay, let's click start. I'm gonna see the first one. It will not loop. Okay, and now we're gonna play As you can see, it will loop infinity times till we click. And that will bring us back to the menu. Now for GUI customization, there's a folder in your game folder called GUI. And if you open it up, you're gonna see everything that's in your main menu. All those backgrounds, overlays, it's everything in there. And usually what most people do is open them in uh, image editing software like Paint, Photoshop, like that, and gonna replace it with their own image or such. 
gonna save it. And as you can see, it will replace the image in the menu. Ponko13 game asked me how I made an image map menu. That's where I put the start, the preference, the settings over here in a different location. And I put the animation in the background and other things. But I think that's a little bit too much for now. So I'm gonna put that in the next video where I'm gonna be covering screens and such things. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.